Hey, this is the Swedish guitar nerd, and today I'm gonna do something out of the ordinary. Uh, well, for instance, lucky you, you don't get to see me today. Um, yeah, good for you. Uh, I'm gonna do a demo of my beloved Zoom Zoom G1 uh, multi effect pedal. It's the one my review guitars going all go through straight into a mixer and into a computer. Um, and I've had a lot of uh, had a lot of questions about it, so well, I might as well show it. Um, this is the first version of the G1 there's a there's been a second one called the G1N or the G1 Next basically they're the same they are the same uh, I think there are some amp models that have changed but and they have added artist presets as well but I think it's I think the machine itself is basically the same and uh, it's really inexpensive. Uh, it costs less than most single effect pedals, actually. And uh, yeah, let's see what you think of it. Uh, okay, uh, you start in play mode here, as it is in now, and you can do basically two things here. You can uh, turn on the tuner. Well, this is supposed to be on the floor, of course, so you're supposed to step on both the pedals. And now we're in, the, there are two tuning modes. You passed one, you, if you saw that, uh, it, where it's in bypass and now it's muted. So if I hit a note now, well, my low E seems to be flat. There you go. Very simple. And just push another one to go back to play mode. Another thing you can do here is to activate the in built in drum machine. This is a useful feature if you're practicing. So it's so simple as that. Um, there are several patterns. You can even make it sound like a metronome. So, yeah, a useful feature. Uh, Okay, let's go to the first effect bank, because that's what we're interested in. It's the pre-effects. Uh, let's see what we have here. Well, first there's a compressor. Uh, let's see how that affects the sounds. <laughs> As you can hear, um, a compressor just evens everything out. It enhances the weak notes and, uh, well, it turns down the more, uh, yeah, loud notes. So now when I hit a chord real hard, it's, <laughs> it's like choking it. So this could be a useful feature um, if you like that kind of sound. Uh, next up, we have an auto wah. Uh, uh, wah wah pedal. Uh, well, we get through to them because they have wah wah pedals as well here. This uh, doesn't need any interaction from you. It does it all by itself. So it sweeps over a frequency range. Well, let's uh, hear what it does. <laughs> As you can hear, it reacts on the picking, so let's see what it does on the high. Yeah, on higher numbers, it 
just uh, emphasizes higher frequencies basically so it gets a different sound from it Well, uh, I forgot to mention it, but I have a, as you can hear, a, a reverb going as well. Okay, next up is the booster. And I've attached uh, an expression pedal, since that's something you can do. You can either have an expression pedal or a tap tempo pedal. And uh, this is the booster, so it does exactly what it says. It adds uh, more gain to the sound. So here's here it is at the lowest setting, and then I just and push the pedal, and you'll see what happens. hear what that sounds i'll start with it at the lowest setting and just push the pedal so here's the lowest setting yeah it's a clean boost um, so it doesn't add any distortion or anything it just gives you uh, yeah a louder sound basically Next we have the tremolo and I'll use the expression pedal for that as well. So uh, at the lowest setting it's at its lowest sweep and then it just goes faster. <laughs> Okay, next we have a phaser, and I'll, that, uh, the expression pedal controls and the numbers on the effect pedal controls the speed of the phaser effect, so I'll start slow and go faster. <laughs> Let's try that with a more distorted sound. Thank <laughs> you. 